Hey guys, it's Cindy and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. So for today's video, as you guys can tell by the title, is going to be an at-home spa day. So really this is just kind of like my little treat yourself day. Um, just some little things that I do when I want to feel a little bit more self-love for like skincare, everything, just like a peaceful mindset. Yeah, because honestly I'm having a really bad like mental health day today and I just want to like unwind and love myself and treat myself for a little bit. So first things first is I kind of just want to take a bath, soak for a little bit, read a little bit. I have a book that I'm still trying to read. I like, it's just a poem book, but um, yeah, I haven't picked it up in a long time. So yeah, I just want to relax and read. So that's going to be first. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up and click that bell to turn on your notifications. And follow me on Instagram too, because like, if you're doing all that, then why not follow me on Instagram as well? You know what I mean? Okay, let's relax. So I've actually never taken a bath in this bathtub before. So we'll see if it actually works, but I got some goods from Lush. Oh yeah, a nice cute little outfit of the day. I'm wearing overalls. But I got some goods from Lush. So I got like their chamomile bath bomb. I forget which one it's called, but yeah. I'm gonna be basic, classic, and use a bath bomb. Love that. told me she's like oh it's just like a little affirmation paper to yourself write a little love note to you on it so that's so cute I'm gonna do that I got my essentials here on my toilet my health aid kombucha in the pomegranate flavor and my book you know basic but it's really good the sun and her flowers love it and for the best part of taking a bath. So, it is a new day. It's like a, a good few days since I filmed the beginning of this video where like I took a bath, it was all like aesthetically pleasing and super like cute and stuff. Um, yeah, but now I'm back to film the rest of this video which is more of like a skincare part so this is like a home spa day video so you know you just do whatever you want for it to feel like a home spa day for you for me that's like a lot of like self-care like taking a bath I'm gonna do a bunch of skincare you know I got some wine um yeah and I'm just gonna like hashtag love myself um yeah, so first things first, um, these are really cute clips. They're from my friend's store shop, CeeLo. I think that's how you say it, CeeLo Vintage. I'll leave it linked in the bio, but they're super cute. So right now, I am going to wash my face. Um, so then I could do a face mask, put on some serums, just really go all out with my skincare, like literally to the nines. We want to pamper ourselves. Like I'm giving myself a little facial, but at home. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. For my cleanser, I use the Paula's Choice Optimal Results Hydrating Cleanser. It's from the Resist line. And I use a nice silicone little scrubby thing. I feel like this has legit changed my skin so much. It just really gets all the extra makeup that's like in your pores off of your face. This cleanser also helps to um, dissolve makeup as well. So I just kind of use this to just get it all off at the end of the day. Okay, now that my face is all washed and clean, the makeup's off and everything, we're gonna do a face mask because what is an at-home spa day without a face mask? Am I right, ladies? So this is the Aztec Secret um, Indian Healing Clay and it is the most insane face mask ever. It's literally this entire thing is only $8. You can find it at Target 
and you get so much product and it's like a legit insane amazing face mask because it's just like real clay and so it just pulls everything out and it's amazing like I literally had a patch like I had an eczema patch on my face that like would not go away I was using this face mask just like to use a face mask and it legit helped I, I mean I don't know if it like directly helped my eczema patch but I want to say because it never went away until I started using this stuff so I'm obsessed and my esthetician also swears by this so that even like further supports my claims about this product so it just comes as like a powder so we're gonna mix it together in a cup and do it and sometimes I make Steven do this with me. Steven, do you want to do a face mask? Is that a no? He's missing out on the spot day. So I just take like, you don't even really need that much. This much, can you see that? Pop it in my little cup. And then I'm, you're supposed to do like equal parts of the clay and water, but I do even less. Um, water just so it's a nice consistency we're just gonna smear it on my face and hope for the best it's really like liquidy i think i put too much water honestly but it's okay it'll be a nice thin layer because honestly when the stuff is too thick on your face it never dries and i don't have patience so well i usually get a lot of breakouts around my chin and my nose because i have a lot of just you know clogged pores so I just kind of like really focus it on those areas you could also mix this um, it suggests apple cider vinegar as well if you don't want to do water um, I don't know how much more of a benefit that is I assume it's probably more beneficial but I've never tried it so and then for the best part is waiting for this mask to dry and having some wine All right, it's been some time later. I am full Shrek, but as you can see, yeah, it's still wet here. And I'm impatient and I just wanna wipe it off right now. It's gonna feel so good afterwards. Wow, I look like a mess. Washed off the mask, feeling super just like, you know what I mean? Um, yeah the skin is clean af so now i'm gonna get into it with the skincare products this is basically like a skincare routine video i guess maybe kind of no this is like a really extra skincare routine actually because it's a spa day so like i'm literally using all of my money's worth of my skincare products all at once pretty much right now anyways we are going to use some serums um and we want to combat that aging. I am going to lather my skin in a collagen and retinol serum. Super good for your skin for anti-aging properties. Um, this is the Pixi brand. You know, there's probably better, like more high quality ones out there, but this is what we're rolling with. This is still a great one. It doesn't bother my skin or anything. So yeah, and it's super dope with this little Ooh, I almost just stabbed my eye. Did you guys just see that? No aging around here, you know what I'm saying. But whenever you're using moisturizer, serums, whatever, make sure you get it down your neck, even onto your chest. So I'm gonna put some on my chest as well because the chest is a big spot on women that show your age a lot as you get older. So you wanna take care of your chest as well. Then we're gonna take a sip of wine. So this is probably one of my more expensive pieces of pieces, skincare products. Um, it's the Tula Hydrating Day and Night Cream. I really love it. She's expensive. She was like $50, so I only use it at night because um, I have another great product that I use for my daytime moisturizer. Especially, I like to really put a lot of like moisturizer on after masks because my skin is just kind of like combination slash dry so it really gets dried out after I do a mask. We are going to use the Pixie Fortify Firming Eye Patches. So I like this because they come with so many eye patches, it's not like buying the single packs of them. I'm like, 
you know, that's like $2 for just one pair of eye patches. Like, I want a bunch. So this is great because it comes with like 30 pairs. So like 30 uses, that's amazing. So we are going to do that and leave it on my face for like 15 minutes and it gives you this little spatula so you don't have to stick your dirty grimy hands in it and you can like, I think this is satisfying. Mm -hmm. So fun. Put them on like this way. It looks right, right? I wonder if I should have put this on and then my moisturizer. I might have done this in a wrong pattern, but whatever. That's why it's an at-home spa day, you know? There's no one to judge you, but you and the people watching this video right now. Also included in this at-home spa day is we catch up on The Bachelorette. While we wait for my eye patches. <laughs> All right, oh, that felt like refreshing. Another thing that I love about little jelly um, eye masks, eye patches, whatever you want to say, is you can put them in the fridge and then they're so like cool and refreshing and it like helps like depuff your eyes even more. Like if you're super tired and just have like really bad like puffy eyes and dark circles, you could put those in the fridge and they help a ton but just wrapping this up like skincare wise i'm using this mario badescu glycolic eye cream i use this pretty much every night it's just more anti-aging stuff you know i don't wipe off um the little serum that's on the eye patches i just kind of keep it there you know let it soak into my skin let it do its thing yeah and then i do the eye cream so that is it for like the skincare part, but what I wanted to kind of talk about a little bit more is just like, this is just like my little at home spa day thing, like if I'm feeling down in a bad mood, like when I filmed the bath part the other day, I just was having a really bad mental health day, I just felt down all day long, I just felt mentally and emotionally and just physically drained. And so I was like, okay, I'm just gonna listen to my body. I'm gonna chill, I'm gonna have a bath, I'm gonna take time for me. So I literally sat in the bath, read a book, and it was just so nice. And so then, like tonight, I just like, I'm, you know, doing some skincare, treating my skin, having a glass of wine, watching The Bachelorette in between, which I never really watch The Bachelor or Bachelorette, but I'm just recently getting into it. and. It's so good. But yeah, so it's really just at home spa days, I feel like are just really doing what you love. So if it is having a glass of wine, then it's having a glass of wine. If it's, you know, having some cake or ice cream at the end of the night, then like that's what it is. Whatever you do to treat yourself and feel like you're having a little spa day, you know, hashtag treat yourself. So that's all I really wanted to say. My skin is refreshed. I'm feeling good and I'm gonna go watch the rest of The Bachelorette, so subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and all that jazz, okay.